Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. Today, we are taking a look at an all new. New? Unique? Where do I start? Let's go with unique. This is a pair of custom Brett Moffat 164s, courtesy of an eBay purchase. Whoa, I almost knocked my tripod over. Uh, but courtesy of an eBay purchase, and they are pretty darn good. So we're going to take a look at them today and uh, do the review. So first one here is going to be probably the more difficult of the two. You can see it is the half-off wholesale number 02. It's the yellow one that ran, I believe, at Atlanta. Um, so it's yellow, black with red numbers. Uh, we got You can see on the roof there. But let's go ahead and we'll just do the whole review. Um, you can see we've got our yellow paint scheme. There's our Goodyear tires there. You can see it actually has the support our troops uh, front wheel, but not there are any of the other ones. So that's a little weird. Never noticed that. Um, let's go around to the other side. Is the same thing over there? No, those are all good years. So one, no, there is one off. I don't know what's going on. So apparently the front wheels are one way and the rears are another. <laughs> no, I haven't seen a lot of that. So, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of it. You can see we've got the Xfinity Series logo. There's the number 02. You can see the decals and how they're kind of, how they're cut going through. So you can see there's a difference between the yellow it's here and then up here. It's a little bit brighter. It's just because there's no decal on there. So the base color, a yellow probably needs to be a tick darker. I, I hate doing this because this is a very good custom. It really is. You can see, obviously, with every custom, I always go through and show you how you can tell their customs. Obviously, you can look where they cut around the decal here for Xfinity and then up here, you know, kind of where the decal ends and you can see the different shades of yellow. But again, you look at it from a distance. That's a good looking die cast. I mean, this is a really good looking custom. This is never going to get made, this paint scheme. So uh, I'm still super thrilled with it. I just always have to, you know, do my job and show all that. So you can see right there, right above that concrete supply there, you can see where that yellow changes shades. You got half off wholesale here on the corner panel, the ethanol ring there. Number 02 up there on the roof. You can see the, the car actually looks very glossy. It's a very well done custom. I mean, very glossy looking car, not super flaky. I mean, just really... Like I said, really well done. Uh, even the banner on the front, the Xfinity Series banner with Moffat with the purple banner on that one side, looks really good. Uh, we got Moffat on the rear window as well. Obviously, you guys know I am a huge Moffat fan. Half off VIP.com. Uh, you can see that decal again, kind of where that's cut uh, here on the rear. So again, it's it's a very tiny thing. The only thing is just that that shady yellow is the only thing that's definitely noticeable. Because outside of that, this is real. This would not be an easy way to tell that this is just a straight up custom. Uh, but you can definitely see it around certain decals. But again, very well done car overall. I mean, I assume getting these decals attached would have been an absolute nightmare. Um, so yeah, if, if that yellow was a tick darker, I wait, I may not even notice it. Um, you got Brett Moffat up there with the Iowa flag represent up there on the name rail. Um, that's awesome. I've never seen the Iowa flag on a car before. I'm not, I mean, we just don't have that many drivers. Uh, we don't have any cup races, nothing. We got nothing. The state got nothing. Um, but yeah, we got the O2 there, the Xfinity series. Uh, we go back around to the front. You can see we got our Chevy Camaro front end there. Uh, you know, yellow along the splitter and then black up there on the middle of the nose and then back to yellow on the hood. So that is the O2 half off wholesale car. Uh, if I had to give it a rating, I would give that one a rating of. Um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, again, this is a stellar custom. Do not get me wrong. Um, the only thing that could get it a 9 out of 10 would obviously be the, the color being a little darker so that it kind of matches and flows. Uh, that'd be a 9 out of 10. And, um, you know, I guess maybe I should just pull, pull this as a 9 out of 10 because, like I said, very good. The decal placement, A+. Plus. Uh, the decal quality, a plus. Uh, as I said, the base color paint is the only thing I have any, I don't want to say any gripe because I'm still happy with it. It's just, uh, it's the only thing I noticed that's like would make it better. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go on to that one and move on to our second one here. This is the unsponsored O2 car. Uh, he's run this a number of times this year. He ran it a couple more times, but, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one here. You can see we got the O2 on the left side here. You can see, look at how shiny it is. Look at the clear coat he used. It looks so good. So yeah, you can see there, you can see the different decals. You can only see it there. There you can see the decal. See how uh, how you have the light showing off? But from the side, as you go down, you cannot tell where the decals are cut. On the roof, you can't tell where the decals are cut. On this side, you can't see where the decals are cut. Uh, go back around to the right side. You can't see where the decals are cut. Just a really well done custom there. Um, so definitely a very good looking uh, O2 car here. It's unsponsored, so I don't really know what else to tell you. I can't really go through and show you the sponsors, but you can see, um, you know, the name rail, the window banner, everything there. 
the black spoiler. I mean, just a really, really well done custom. This one, see, this one would get an 8 out of 10 or 8.5. This one would get a 9 out of 10 because, as I said, the decals, you can't even see the difference. And the only thing, and I mean this sincerely, the only thing that could even possibly be a slightly bit better is that there's a little bit, you can see kind of here, the fibers that get, they, they just got under the clear coat. So it's just a matter of those little tiny things is, you know, you can see one there, there's a little like hair there. Oh, actually that came off. I thought, I thought it was stuck under there. Well, this changes my whole perception. Do they all come off? Because if they all come off, this is a 10. Um, no, I think that's underneath. So yeah, some of them are underneath uh, on that clear coat. But um, overall, I mean, that is a stellar looking custom. I mean, this thing, let's be fair. When I do my downhill races, this is never seeing the track. This is never seeing the track. These are awesome looking cars, but I am never letting these see the track. Now, that being said, uh, I did pay, uh, I believe, 30 a piece for these cars. So it's a little much, but I definitely wanted to get a chance. This is my first 164th custom, so I had to get a chance to show something off like that. I love custom cars and getting to show them off. I actually picked them off off of eBay. So if you're interested in something like this, shoot me a message. Um, I can have I'd have to direct contact because I literally don't know any other info besides eBay. Um, I know there's an Anthony Alfredo car on there now by the same maker, and so if you're interested, this is the quality of work. A plus, um, especially on the unsponsored car, A plus on, on these cars. So I highly recommend if you're looking for a high quality custom, this is the place to get them because man, this looks, so, look at the window net, the window net, the, the way the decals line up, the way that, that you really can't even tell from, you know, even that far away. Oh, stellar. So, um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, this one gets like a nine and a half out of 10. This one gets an eight and a half out of 10. They're both very good looking race cars. Um, as I said, obviously we, like I said, on the yellow or on the half off wholesale, the yellow and, and on this O2 car, it's just a couple of little fibers that got underneath on the clear coating, um, that, that really are the only noticeable issue. Otherwise it'd be a 10 out of 10. I said this, they both look really good. The O2, the unsponsored O2, especially that, that is that close to a 10 out of 10. So, um, Definitely really cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on these custom die casts in the comments below. Let me know what your uh, favorite custom 164th, if you have any. And um, I think I'll post these a, as a picture on Twitter, and we'll see. Maybe you guys go over there um, either on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. I'll probably have three of them. But um, I'll, I'll post this, and we can all share our uh, 164th customs. I like to see what uh, other customs people have out there. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and we will see you in the next diecast review.